If you have ever tried to research and contact online influencers, you will know how tedious and manual it can be. What if I tell you that there is a way to automate this with just a single click? Keep watching to find out how. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated. On this channel, we are helping you to automate your business workflows. If you are new here, consider subscribing to get the latest updates on the latest tools or even joining our channel to get a wide range of membership only perks. See more about the perks on the channel homepage. Okay, let's get back to TikTok. So many businesses and marketeers might need to analyze, monitor, or even reach out to TikTok influencers as part of their marketing strategies. However, tracking the follower count manually or even sending the messages by hand is not only tedious, but also prone to errors. Today, we'll show you how sponsor of this video, Magical, can streamline this process. Magical is an AI-driven extension that is added to your Chrome and allows you to automatically capture crucial data from TikTok profiles and export this to Google Sheets. Also, you can use the templating function to streamline creation of messages. In this video, we'll go over setting up Magical and connecting it with TikTok, automating data entry from TikTok into Google Sheets, setting up templates for sending messages, and finally creating and sending DMs using those templates. Let's get started. So in my example here, I have a couple of influencers that are focusing on no-code topics on TikTok, and I would like to send them a message asking about collaboration. So the first step here, I would go to getmagical.com, and you can see my link in the description of the video. And what we will do here, we will add this extension to Chrome. So once we click on add this extension of, to Chrome, what will open is basically Chrome Web Shop and inside of Web Shop, we will press Add to Chrome. Once the extension loads, you'll be redirected to a page where you'll be prompted to log in. I'm, I have already registered and I have logged in, so that's it. Go back to the TikTok profiles and the moment when you refresh the window, you will see that there is a little bubble on the right hand side, which is the magical Chrome extension. You will be able to get it from the browser bar or you can also see it here on the site. So the moment when you click on this extension, you will notice two things. So first of all, that there's some pre-built automations already created for you and that it has already recognized some information from the profile over here. So you will see that it's automatically capturing the username it's automatically capturing the account name. It is also getting the followers and um, the number of likes, although the likes is mislabeled and we'll fix this in a second. And you will see that this is exactly the same situation on other profiles that I have opened here. So this is looking very good. As the next step, what we will do here is we will do a bit of correction. So for example, we will change the name of the lender not to be lender to be like, so we will click on the rename. And since there is no ready label called likes, we'll create a new one. So we'll call it likes. And now we have likes. Here it's also wrongly recognizing one of the fields here as, as email. So we will hide this one. Another one that we are interested in is this link in bio. So what we will do at the moment we are in the selection mode, when we click on the link in bio, we will be able to select it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna call it link in bio. And we have saved the label. So what else do we have page? So we have stats for some of the videos over here. So that might not be necessary. And the other elements here are not interesting for us. The URL is interesting. What we will do, we will remove all the videos except those initial ones over here. So, so I have cleaned up all the information here. I have hidden the information that are not necessary and kept only the information that will be useful, which is basically the, the short list over here. I have also included the first and the second video just to have an idea about what is the level of popularity for the top two videos. Usually these are the popular ones that are pinned. So that looks good. Now we can press done. And now the next step would be add this to a new spreadsheet. So what we are going to do is 
press add to a new spreadsheet and now as you will notice it is actually asking us whether we want to push just this tab or whether we want to pull push all the tabs that we have opened. So this is quite impressive. Let's basically do all the tabs and see what happens. It has automatically opened new Google spreadsheet. And as you will see, it is at the moment renaming the tab and automatically populating the information for all of them. And now you can see that basically we got all the four windows that we had open populated into into our Google spreadsheet. It has also sent data from the other windows that we had open here. So you can see that this, for example, those two are not necessary. So these were not profile windows. These were just regular windows. So that's why they didn't have the full information. So otherwise than that, you can see that this is really accurate in terms of getting the usernames, getting the stats, the first video, the second video getting the number of likes and so on. So this is working really well. And what you could do is you could follow this, this route. And for example, here I'm going to find a few other examples of influencers. So now if I'm reviewing this influencer and I find his content interesting, I can also quickly add his information to the data that I have. And the way this would work is that basically here I open the extension, click on TikTok to magical, and in this case, I will only add just this tab. And you can see that this information is added to, to my list. Now we can do this with the second one. And now we have another influencer. So literally within two clicks, you have the information added into your Google Sheet. So this is, this is pretty amazing, but we won't stop here. I will show you that we can also automate what I was mentioning before, the outreach to the influencer. So the way we are gonna use this is that we will go to the messaging function and here on the extension, we can have magical templates. So when we go to the templates, there is a list of predefined templates that we can use. But what we would like to do is define our own template. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a new template, but we are also going to create this template with AI assistant. So we will ask AI assistant to create a template that will reach out to influencer about possible cooperation. We will also select the style and we'll put the style as casual. All right, so we will delete the, the frame around and we will fix up the tag. So we will call it the first name. I have added one more tag just to show you how this those tags can be used. So this is everything and we'll call this intro. And I say the template. We could share this with someone from our team, but at the moment we're just going to use this directly over here. All right, so now let's use our template. So we will do slash slash, and then you can see that on top we already have our intro. And once we click on the intro, we have our template, and you can see that we have a smart prefill option. Once we click this, the template is being automatically populated with the information for this specific influencer. So you can see that we are addressing this person by name and we're also setting the the number of the followers that this person has so you can have a smart customer uh, customizable template so you can do it with someone else so in this case i will actually instead of pressing the slash i will just go directly to the template so i will press hyphen hyphen and start typing intro once i typed intro it automatically shows up the place for the template and i can select which person i'm I'm looking at, and this is Eslo, and you can see that we have this template already here. If you would like to use different types of templates, you can do slash slash, and you can use any other of the pre-filled templates. So for example, you can say, thanks for your message, or you could also ask the AI assistant to write something on the go. And you can see that we have a brand new template that we could use directly here after some adjustments. All right, I hope this was useful for you and will give you some ideas how to automate the outreach to influencers. If you would like to test out Magical, then go to the link in the description of the video, which will take you to getmagical.com slash business automated, where you can sign up for 
pretty generous free plan and test it out for yourself and see how you like it. All right, guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what other business automated topics you would like to see in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day.